guys, this is Carrie from Rock and G Farm. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about cold stratification of my lavender seeds. You ask cold stratification, what is cold stratification? Cold stratification is when we manually place our seeds in a cold environment to bring on dormant seed for a period of weeks so that we'll get better germination. So here in the south, we don't have a lot of cold weather. I think one or two days we've gotten down to 25, but other than that, we've had a pretty mild winter, for, especially for the past couple of winters. Um, I even have some bulbs in my flower bed right now that still have the green leaves on them. I have some bachelor buttons that still have flowers on them. So we're not getting down cold enough to let all of our plants get a good dormancy to through this winter. Now, why would I want them to be dormant for a while? Well, the cold stratification will help your germination rate and help your plants be stronger when they germinate and you're starting to plant them up into bigger pots. So what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna show you how to cold stratify your lavender seeds. Um, I was looking places because I want a whole bunch of lavender. I went the whole lavender to go the full length of the house in the backyard and in, in the herb garden. So I needed a lot of lavender. So I knew I didn't want to buy a lot of lavender plants because that would be expensive. So I started looking into growing lavender and everywhere I read, lavender is hard to grow. It's hard to get started. It's hard to germinate. So I'm thinking, well, what can I do to help my lavender germinate? So I did some research and it looks like the cold stratification is what is going to help with my germination. So what I'm going to do, it's very, very simple. I'm going to have a paper towel, a Ziploc baggie, and some water, and then I have the um, just regular lavender that I just got at Lowe's, because that's where I was when I wanted some lavender. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what to do. I'm gonna have, go ahead and open up my bag so I don't have to um, get anything. You could pour water on this. I'm just gonna kind of stick, stick it down and let it wick up some of the water because you don't want it like sopping wet, you just want it moist. And then I'm just gonna start letting it soak up until I see just a little bit on the edges here. The top is still dry, but from here down it's wet. I'm gonna let some of that water come off. I'm gonna place it in my Ziploc bag. Then I'm gonna open it up. And then if you can see right here, the very tip of the paper towel is still dry. So that way I know it's not too much moisture for my seeds because I don't want my seeds to get moldy or rot. If you get too much moisture in your bag, they will rot. Um, and that's also another reason why I'm using the cold stratification because sometimes your lavender seeds will rot if you plant them outdoors and try to in the springtime and let them grow from seed in the ground. So most of the time they'll rot. So we're just gonna try this and see how this goes. So I'm just gonna open them up. The lavender seeds are very small. So I'm just gonna open up the edge here. Um, so let me see, I had some more things I was gonna talk to you about. Um, I told you that the reason why we're using cold stratification is to bring on dormancy so that the seeds will have a better germination rate because that's why you buy seeds. You want them to germinate for you so that you'll have plants. Okay, so here we go. We're just gonna put those in my hand. And you can see the really, they look like shiny um, glass beads a little bit. You can see that very well. And I am just going to just scatter them across the top of my paper towel. They're sticking to my hand. That ain't gonna help. That is, is not a no, go, no bueno there. Okay, I think I've got them there. And so I'm gonna go ahead and, oop, 
got some in the Ziploc. We don't want them in the zipper. There's one on my... There. Okay. Well, I'm kind of running away. Okay. So, we're just going to Ziploc this up. Make sure that your paper towel is not in your zipper and you don't have any seeds in your zipper. And then, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure that they are in full contact with this paper towel. And they're my Ziploc's done. I'm just going to kind of press them down because I saw some of them were sticking to the top of the plastic. Oh, there's one there. I'll have to put that back in the bag. So we'll do, see like right there, it's sticking to the plastic. I'm just going to press it down. And then I'm going to place these in my drawer in my refrigerator for probably about three to four weeks. And then when they start individually germinating, I am going to just take them off and I'm going to plant them up or pot them up in a smaller pot and place them under my grow lights and leave them under my grow lights until they get large enough to grow out or be placed in my um, herb garden out back. Um, let's see. I think that's I think that's all we wanted to say about um, cold stratification. If you have any questions about um, cold stratification, how you need to do it, any more questions, um, just comment below. And um, if I can't find the answer, or if I don't know the answer, I will find it and guide you to the person who can help you with that. Um, there are several. Um, Herbs that have to be cold stratified, alliums have to be cold stratified, some of your flower seeds. So there's a lot of things that you need to cold stratify in order to get better germination for your um, seeds. Um, some of them have to be um, cold stratified or they will not germinate at all. So always when you get seeds, make sure that you um, study and see if that particular seed type needs cold stratification in order to germinate. If not, then just plant away. But thank you so much for joining me today just on this real quick little video on how to cold stratify my lavender for better germination. Thanks for joining me in Make What You Have Beautiful.